There's no question that one of the new rules that's coming very soon is a requirement for vaccinations and immunity passports and tattoos in order to be able to leave our homes and go anywhere and do anything. But we have to wake up and we have to do something about this while we still can. And as we've seen, the despots are not interested in science and in fact are not interested in our welfare at all. We're not going to change the minds of people who are capable of hurting us in such egregious ways. But there is something we can do. We can unite. The tens of millions of Americans who are fed up with this insanity can gather together and declare our independence from tyranny. Today we start. Today we declare our independence. And today we declare that we're going to make Americans free again. In fact, we the people are announcing a new normal to the despots. It's called citizens in charge. Politicians are not the boss of us. They only have jobs because we elect them and we can unelect them. And health officials have no authority over our lives either. So here's a message for the despots and you know who you are. Your 15 minutes are up. Citizens are now in charge. And if you think we're kidding, and if you think that we can't take you out, you need to reconsider. There's strength in numbers, and people need to be able to find like-minded people that they can join forces with, put pressure on government officials, and even engage in massive civil disobedience if it comes to that, and I think it's fast coming to that. The despots have not yet built concentration camps, usually referred to as re-education centers in other countries ruled by despots, but it's most likely coming soon, so I think the time to take action is right now. And I'm not kidding. If you think that they're not capable of doing it, I never thought they were capable of doing what they've already done, all right? We will provide resources and guidance for parents who decide to withdraw their children from school. The psychological damage that will be done to children attending schools that impose these draconian plans that the schools have developed to implement, the psychological damage will last for a lifetime. I mean, we're teaching children to be terrified of the world they live in and terrified of other children and exposure to other humans. We are building and we'll have available within a very short period of time a resource center to assist people in making this transition. This is a way to put pressure on the school systems to stop the nonsense and go back to educating children the proper way. We develop a network of lawyers who will represent people whose civil rights are being violated by any government official or agency and who will organize class action law lawsuits when warranted and also find ways to go after them personally but they really have stepped over the line this time and we need to find ways to punish them we have the organizational capacity to do this we've been in business for 25 years we do business in 33 countries we have significant staff and volunteers and resources we collectively have a lot of political experience we have infrastructure to support the project and I guess maybe most important is every week I get thousands and thousands of emails from people desperate and saying, please do something. I would do something if you showed me the way or showed me what to do. Well, I'm doing something. I'm hoping that you'll join me.